Hello guys out there today. Welcome to a quick little tidbit about how I buy properties with Tinder. Well, kind of. Let me get into it for you. So there are two types of loans, interest-only loans and principal and interest loans. Why would I want an interest-only home loan though or a house loan? I, you know, principal and interest, that's what I do. No, well, why would you? Well, because there's differences between interest-only loans and principal and interest-only loans and I'm going to tell you why. Now, what I'm going to be covering is the secret loans investors use so they can have cash flow streams coming from property so much that they replace their income what is an interest-only loan, and how I saved my friend from losing his house when he lost his job, and how I got my friend into a house now instead of years from now, and what you can do with this information, and why using a broker is like using Tinder for loans. So I want to show you how you can buy multiple properties and the rent is more than the repayments. Let's get into it. Why not retire in five years? I mean, is that possible? Well, let me just tell you a little bit about interest-only loans and interest and principal and interest-only loans and principal and interest loans. Okay, I'm getting really excited here. I love talking about property. Welcome to Think Property Club, by the way, if you're listening to this. My name is Jason John Byron, if I haven't mentioned it before. The uh, founder of Think Property Club. Now, principal and interest-only loans. Some people... Um, use a principal and interest only loan to pay off their own house. So they don't own, own anything more in their own house. It's the Aussie dream. Um, but what happens in that situation is they own their own house, but they're living in their house. So what about cash flow? So there's another way to do it. And this is a little tip into investor world, right? So if you use interest only loans, it might be possible for you to generate 300,000 cash flow coming in. Then you can buy your own house outright. Very possible. Plus, you get a couple of holidays and you could retire in five years. How do we do that, Chase? Now, warning straight up, all information was recorded at the, at the date that were recorded and it was reflecting the current situation of what was going on now. So things can change if you're listening to this in 20 years time or even a week's time. Who knows? So this is not to be taken as advice, but merely an example. All information should be taken as examples of what is possible, but without the right advice could be different in individual situations. Everyone is different. You're different from me and, <laughs> and your neighbor's going to be different from you, okay? So that means that, you know, things may have changed. So you must consult a professional who's going to be up to date. So please, you must seek independent advice. Done. Let's get on with it. What is an interest-only loan? A home loan repayment typically consists of two parts, the principal component, the amount you borrowed from the bank, your loan balance, and the interest component, the amount the lender charges on your outstanding balance that goes into their pocket. Now, with an interest-only home loan, your minimum repayment will only cover the interest charge on your loan for an agreed period of time. So you could possibly be getting a loan for 500000 off the bank and 10 years later on an interest only loan or five years later, whatever you want to call it, you still owe them the same amount. You don't actually pay it down. That's possible. People do that. Now, this means your loan won't reduce during the interest only period since you're not making any principal repayments. Interest only, the interest rates too for interest only loans tend to be higher than principal and interest home loans where your repayment covers both the principal and the interest. Now, now, how did I save my friend from losing his house when he lost his job? Well, he was on a principal and interest home loan. And I said to him, look, go and see my Tinder guy. He'll hook you up. He'll hook you up, mate, with another loan. Another girl, another loan. Girls, loans, very similar, right? Hmm. How long do you keep that loan for? Do you refinance that loan? Do you find another loan? Anyway, my friend in a situation lost his job. Probably going to take him about six months to get another job. It was one of those type of jobs. He comes to me and goes, I, I can't make these principal and interest repayments. My, my partner's working, so that's good, but she can't cover the principal and interest. And, and, you know, and we actually have been late a few times at the bank, so... I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to know what, I have to, feel, I have to sell my house. 
I'm going to have to sell my house because I don't even know what I'm going to drop. And I said, can we just do something first? Can we just go on the calculator online and work out what an interest-only home loan would be? And then maybe look at that interest rate and see if you could afford that instead of a principal and interest. And he went, what do you mean? And this is why you're listening to this now, right? This is exactly what I went through with him. I said, look, let's just do a calculator, right? Oh, and he went, I could actually afford that. I said, well, this is the option you have. So here's my Tinder guy. Go and talk to him. He'll hook it up for you. I don't want you walking back into the bank first. I wanted you to go see my Tinder guy first because he's got lots of banks that you can go and have a look at if this one doesn't agree with you. So let him help you out. Now, how did I save? How did I also get my friend into a house instead of years from now? Again, he looked at the repayments of a principal and interest and said, I'm probably not going to be able to afford that. Um, I've got other bills that I've got coming in that I'm paying off, like hex and different things. Um, and I said, well, why don't you just get an interest-only loan then? It's going to be cheaper because you won't pay down the house, but hey, you'll still have a house. And at any point, that house is, one, going to go up in value, but two, you'll have a house, so you'll have secured it now instead of two or three years from now. And he did that, and he's now got a house, and he's still got the house, and it's doubled in value. Okay, so an interest-only home loan may be suited if you're looking to a way to maximize your tax deductions as a property investor and a temporary way to reduce your outgoing expenses. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as manage a temporary income reduction, i.e. if you're receiving parental leave or paying educational costs while you're studying. All right, that might be a reason why you might be using it there. Now, Yes, before you say it, you're paying more interest over the life of your home loan. Agree. If you pay both principal and interest, you reduce your loan balance earlier in the long term. Yes, you're going to pay it off earlier. And as it goes down, you are going to be paying less, sure. But these are used very specifically, and I'll get into that in a sec. You can switch between principal and interest repayments options during the life of a loan. However, there are limits for how long you can have your interest-only periods. That's my Tinder guy now saying, hey, I've got another loan for you to look at. Generally, the maximum interest period at any one time is five years. The total interest only period allowed during the life of the loan is five years for owner, occupiers, and 10 years for investors if you go to one bank. This is what I have found. Okay, it's not going to be the same with everyone because everyone's going to have different ways that you can do it, right? But that's just a generalization there. Now, when you're interest only period expires, your home loan repayments will revert to a principal and interest. This means your repayments will increase as you start to pay off your home loan. This is when Tinder comes in. And this is why Tinder's always there for home loans. So if, if, you, if you're going on the Tinder app trying to find guys, hang on, that, I'm, I'm making a joke of it, right? I've never used Tinder. I've seen people use it. They swipe back and forth to look for different, lo- I mean, different girls or different guys or whatever, dogs, pets, whatever. I don't, uh, Tinder is a way that you get options. You get to look at things. Someone presents them for you. So this is the same as what I find with giving an example of how does it work with loans. So instead of you just going and meeting one person that you're kind of stuck with, why don't you get someone else to find you a whole lot of people, right? So that's when we use Tinder to find another girl or to go out with, you know, or else we, why don't we use Tinder for loans? Now, I don't go into banks. I don't have time actually to go into bank and I would rather just go to Tinder for loans and look at a hundred banks and get a better deal. This is my Tinder guy and I'm not quite sure if he's going to like this or not, but there he is. That's my Tinder loan guy. Okay, so I just say to him, oh, can you find me a better deal? Or he actually calls me up actually and goes, I've actually just found you someone. You should have a look at her. But this is this is situation. So as a professional investor, we always have a team of people. We're never on our own. So we've got people, brokers that are looking for for us to make sure. And I don't. these normally aren't the franchise guys. These are normally guys that had a bit of reputation with professional investors. Um, and there's many of these guys, but this is just one good-looking guy that, that, that is probably on Tinder. You might even see him on, on both platforms. Who knows? So why, um, let's get into it. How do we use property as an income producing product? Because that's what I teach people. I say, instead of your job producing your income, 
why don't we get rid of your job, but how are we going to do that? Well, we've got to replace your job with a property that makes the cash flow for you, the income for you, then you don't need a job anymore. That's pretty cool. So what, what do professionals do? Well, we buy property in a different way. I just showed you one way then. And we, we learn these ways from people who can prove they have done it. So I learned it off another person that showed me that they did it and I just copied what they did. But very importantly, I, there's a lot of steps you, you have to go through to figure out, oh, this is how you do this, this is how you do this, this, how you do this. This is why, you know, Think Property Club is helping you kind of understand that investor world. Now, we use their proven strategies because they will have strategies that are proven that they've done over five, 10 years. And no matter what someone says out there in the public, it doesn't matter. If it's proof that someone's done it that way, then, hey, that's enough for me. So this is how you use property as an income producing product. There's two main ways that I have done it and many other people have done it. Income generated in is significantly more each week than repayments out. How would we do this? Maybe an intro. Yeah, that's a good idea. So I, I need my income generated in from rent is going to be more than repayments out. So the professionals use methods that aren't commonly taught, but they work. Another way to use property to produce what I call reward cash flow, again, things I've done many, many times, we do a no money down deal using profit split strategies, where we make the profit with other people's money using our skills. I call it, you pay the bills, I'll bring the skills. So this is a very common thing that I've done because the one thing investors want people with money, they want a better return than 5% or 10%. So if you can get the skills to be able to show them how you can convert that in a safe way by securing it with property, that seems like the investors like that. Now you split the profit and use that as a chunk of money for your income. That could be 70, that could be 100,000, that could be 200,000, who knows? But that's a good way on the side, both of these things can be done while you have a job. Now that thing is called a joint venture, but I'm going to concentrate on number one today. So here's an example here. Went to a calculator, typed in 480,000, because that's what I needed to borrow. My weekly repayments, if it was interest only, would be 464, but if I was going to do principal and interest, it would be um, 663. So you're, you pay 5% interest rate. Okay, so let's say 5%, I can get a better deal than that. Well, I'm a little bit different probably from the average person out there because the, the stack of property that I have, but let's just say 5%, let's put it at 5%. So 5% interest rate on 480000 so principal and interest 663, um, but interest only is 464. That's a big difference. Can you see how the guy was able to keep his job? Can you see how the other guy was able to secure a property now instead of wait later? So your property rents out for 600 a week. Let's just say that, right? So your principal and interest loan, if you did it that way, and you are paying it down, fair enough, but hey, I'm interested in not paying it down. I just want the cash, right? Because <laughs> I want in, in income producing properties to replace my income. That is the method of what I'm trying to do. But you can also use any money you want to pay down the loan. The bank's not going to stop you paying down the loan whether you're on either one of these, right? So the money out is 663, but that means you're going to get 600 coming in. So you are short $63 a week. But if you use an interest-only loan, the money out is 464. That means you're up $136 a week. Now, when you really start getting into property, you start getting more, more rental than the average person because you become a professional at it, right? So let's just say if, if your um, cash in wasn't 600, but now you're getting 1400 a week, and this is very possible with the right location, and very seriously, this is possible, you can't often buy it you've got to create it okay but there's ways to do it lots of people have done that um so let's say you're getting cash flow into 1400 a week and i still didn't do the principal and interest even though i could have but it's about maximum cash flow then you could re then your repayment out would be 462 so what does that leave you with so you're positive by 48,776 a year that's the income so what could you do with that well you get to see your kids you get to replace your income eventually and you start to use the extra income to buy more cash flow positive houses. But the first thing I say to people, and I always say this, is I've just shown you positive geared properties, but positive geared properties don't work. Okay, that's a bit of a shock to people and especially when I tell them that because they say, oh, well, I, I found a property out in Deliquin somewhere or my broker told me about this or that property I'm positive geared by $2,000. Even if you're positive geared by $10,000 a week, you've actually got to create equity at the same time. 
if you want to the secret the secret is to make equity at the same time as being positive geared okay and that's what i try to teach people that there are ways to it's an advanced way but if you can get that sweet mix where you can make equity and be positive geared then what that means is if we do this we can buy the next property without saving a deposit so that's something i'll talk about another day but i hope you enjoyed this session um, interest only in principal and interest loans I'm sure there's a lot more I could talk about, but I just want to give you some useful tips now. Um, this comes to you from Think Property Club, which is a club there to educate people on all different levels about property. Free to join, go along and sign up, and it's pretty cool. You get a little app, and you go into a little Facebook group and that, and it allows me to share stuff with you, and you can get this content at any time that way. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later, guys. Go and find your Tinder broker. Hey! <laughs>